namashiva student welcome to the class student in our previous class we have started the topic agencies of socialization and we have discussed about family school and peer groups so in this class we will discuss about mass media and the other agencies of socialization interestingly mass media over the year has emerged as the important agencies of socialization and it become an essential part of our everyday life impact of mass media on young people is immense these days children learn social behavior more from the tv rather than family or friends media has a wide reach and can influence people across geographies and regions children at very young age get influenced by dressing pattern hairstyle speeches and the dialogues of the characters they watch on tv they imitate them and demand the same kind of thing that their role models are consuming or using on tv children of 5 or 6 years old more influenced by cartoon characters and even try to imitate the voice of character they like the most sometimes this influence also become a source of tension or worry among the people because there are large number of instances that linked aggressive behavior among children with on screen violence learning by imitation is a method people use frequently and children too follow it in attempt to imitate shaktiman many children dive down from building and met a fatal accident the interpretation of media content is depends on individual it is a one way role and the impact is also one way children often do not understand the difference between reality and the image shown on tv now the third stage of socialization is called a tertiary socialization or adult socialization it includes learning at universities colleges at workplace entering into marriage having family and other significant relationship and a wide variety of roles and responsibility adult socialization occurs as we assume roles as we assume adult roles such as an employee or employer husband wife father mother and guardian etc although in this stage there is no formal curriculum as in the school but we learn more about social roles and responsibilities which we carry out ourselves now as people grow they face lots of change, changes in and around themselves in each stage of socialization people find themselves adapting to new roles new expectations and new set of limitations individuals here learn about social expectations and about life they refine their behavior and tend to understand their responsibility in greater depth at workplace people interact with the uh, people from other communities and culture so here we learn to be sensible and accommodating to uh, cultural diversity also now how socialization mold us into cultural being and gives us an identity can be best understood by looking at the gender roles and expectations since childhood society mold children into respective genders this is called as gender socialization now what is this both girls and boys were taught roles set of responsibilities and expectations from their respective genders as a result what happens boys become aggressive dominant outgoing and demanding whereas girls are taught to be accommodative submissive passive cultured introvert caring obedient and not questioning on the choices made for them the biological differences between male and female are brought into social and cultural relations of life although those who are in cities may not have experienced gender socialization but a large number of society all over the world till date raise their young ones in gender modes thus perpetuating gender inequality and patriarchy in society that accords unequal status to women they do not question the social nature of gender roles that these roles of 
rules and expectations are all human construction but they considered it natural and practice it without questioning at this point of time you may think that uh, socialization understood in this fashion demands total conformity from individuals and robs us of our freedom but this is not the case conflict is natural among people and it may not necessarily be always negative conflict conflict between traditional practices and modern ideas leads to change and development as we see during social reforms movement in india in our interaction with other conflicts can emerge and can also have a lasting impact on our personality it can lead to good also and bad also however this has to understood within a broad framework of social change in course of socialization each one of us develop a sense of self identity and a capacity to think act and choose independently for ourselves so in sum though the though for understanding we divide the process of socialization into various stages and in the term of various agencies of socialization but socialization is an ongoing process for everyone until you die so here we come to the end of the chapter and in this chapter we have discussed about culture dimension of culture cognitive and normative aspects of culture cultural identity ethn ethnocentrism cultural change socialization and various agencies of socialization so this is all about the chapter culture and socialization hope you enjoy the reading the chapter now in the next class we will start the chapter number 7 that is the chapter number 2 of your second book that is understanding society and the chapter is social change and social order in rural and urban society here i hope that you all have seen or gone through the revised syllabus of cbsc for class 11 where chapter number 5 from the first book and the chapter number 6 and 8 from the second book is being deleted for this year syllabus so from next class we will start a next new chapter so till then take care of yourself namaste bye